I'm chopping some jelly to put between the layers of the cake. It will make the cake moist and give extra flavor, but this is optional. If you want to use sugar syrup, make sure it's light, otherwise the cake will be too sweet. Or you can just use buttercream. I am taking some buttercream in an extra bowl. Using a little bit of buttercream at the bottom of the cake so that the cake sticks to the cardboard circle. Apply some buttercream on the top, spread nicely, then add a spoonful of jelly. Make sure the jellies are thinly chopped. Now place another layer of cake. Repeat the process until all four layers are done. I like to place the bottom side of the cake on top so that I can get an even surface. Now apply a thin layer of buttercream to seal the crumbs. Then put it into the refrigerator for an hour to set. This step will help us to get a clean, smooth final coating. After the crumb coating is set properly, apply the final coating. A turntable and cake scraper is very helpful to get a smooth icing. You can also dip the scraper in hot water to get a glass smooth icing, which I will show you in an another video. But today I don't have to worry about that because I'm gonna be piping on top. Add color to your buttercream for piping. Cut an opening to your piping bag to fit the nozzle. I'm dividing and marking with a stick where I want to pipe. It's good to practice a few times on an another surface before piping on cake. I am using a French dip for flowers. To be honest, I have struggled a little to achieve a nice flower because sometimes it just doesn't come out nicely. And you need a certain consistency of your buttercream for these tips. Most of the times the warmth of your hand softens the butter. To make a leaf nozzle, cut the tip of your piping bag in V-shape. 